2,200 traders from around the world registered this past week, today being June 10th, registered last Sunday or prior to Sunday for the CME Precious Metals Challenge. You had to trade one or all four of the precious metals market, namely gold, silver, platinum, or palladium. We all had to play by the same set of rules and we all had to use the CME trading site, which for us meant that we had to trade mechanically because we couldn't put our trading robot and, and attach it to their trading site. With 24 hours to go, this is a snapshot on Thursday afternoon at about noon, we were ranked 50, 50 out of 2,200 traders. Now our goal, as we stated to our members before this got started, was to try to get within the top 2%, the top 20, actually it would have been even top 1%, and then trade overnight, round the clock, to try to win it. Yes, we wanted to win it. How did we do? Well, unfortunately, we came up a little short. Out of 2,200, we finished in pole position 107 in the top 5%. We're a little disappointed but we did finish in the top 5%. Before this challenge, there were two other challenges. There was one, the first one had 1,400 traders and we finished number 20. On the last day, we were as close as number, I think I wanna say eight or nine, but we finished 20. In the CME challenge preceding this one, there were 1,600 traders. At five in the morning on the last day, we were number two. And unfortunately, we finished number seven. In all of the CME challenges, 1,400 traders, 1,600, 2,200. This has been our worst finish in the top 5%. We believe the traders that go through our Q school will be on their way to being in the top 5% of all traders. Have a great weekend.